Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Would you feel sorry for someone no one loves? Yes, you would? Well, you might think Monster is kind of different looking, but he wants to be loved too. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Monster can even find someone to love him. Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed, monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside. And outside. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then, it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. Bear's wondering, do you think everyone needs love? Yes, Bear does too. Can we be loved for being who we are, even though we're different looking? Yes, just like the two love monsters. Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in being loved for who you are. Bye for now. Please subscribe. <laughs>